Okay, so we all know that Thanksgiving is the most planned meal of the year, but are you prepared? Do you have everything you need for your Thanksgiving feast yet? According to an annual survey from the American Farm Bureau, the cost of a traditional Thanksgiving feast for 10 people is up about 14%. And we have some items uh, that are listed right here on your screen. They're going to cost you around 53 bucks. That's almost $10 more than last year. Matthew Tejas also known as the grocery guy, he's here in studio, a professional grocery shopper using the Dumpling app, which right. again, I am so new to, I've never heard of Dumpling, but it, apparently it's cool in LA and you're busy here. Yeah, I'm super busy. I work basically six days a week. My partner actually made me schedule a day off recently. Uh, so it's definitely growing. I'm super excited about it. I'm glad to be, uh, at least be able to list my business on the platform for the last two and a half years. And I've been working with them, kind of making the app better uh, for people like me who want to grow a small business. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just every month we're, we're growing and getting a new feature, something cool or a new freedom where, you know, we're just able to make our own decisions for our customers. And it's really awesome. So you're going out and you're actually doing the shopping for people. Are you finding ways to save them money? Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, compared to larger apps that are more national, uh, a smaller app like Dumpling is going to give you the freedom to go to multiple stores. It's going to give you the freedom to give the receipt to your customers so they can see how much they're saving. My personal favorite is I like to get uh, online and download all the digital coupons. I even get ones mailed to me. Okay. And then I'm able to stack those and use those for my clients. Yes, which uh, is a big, big business yeah. right now, saving money with the coupons. Okay, I want to talk about what's in the middle of our screen. I actually have some fresh cranberries that I bought at a farmer's market, nice. uh, which I love homemade cranberry sauce. But not everybody knows how to make homemade cranberry sauce. So you're comparing the cost of some of these items. So can we just talk about that right here? Yeah, one thing that I've been seeing at least this week is they're putting limits on a lot of the items just so people don't go crazy like last year and just buy everything off the shelf. So you're seeing sometimes a limit of no more than two on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I have a small family, so one can of cranberry sauce is going to fill us up. But if you need two, three, four, if you're having a big gathering, it may be better to ditch the canned stuff and do it from scratch. Most people already have the items to make cranberry in their home, water, sugar. You just need to buy a bag of raw cranberries and boil them down. And that is basically it. it. And delicious. it tastes so good. Yes, so it does good. Put a little good. orange rind in yes, there. Yes, definitely the zest and the orange. But you have generic versus regular brand name items like yes. this bacon. As a hardcore bacon eater, and I also make skillet <laughs> bacon pizzas. So this is, this is one of my favorite ingredients to use is bacon bits. I found just yesterday that the price variances in a pork item like this is going to go anywhere from $1.50 for the store brand all the way up to almost $6 for more than name brand as they basically build in the cost of the supply chain into their products where some are doing it a little bit more than others. So if you're going out and looking for a specific item, just be prepared for a little heartbreak and be prepared to go to multiple stores to look for what you're looking for, look for the best deal. Look for the best deal. Okay, any more tips in terms of shopping issues that you're coming across while shopping for families this holiday? Definitely. Uh, one big thing that's near and dear to my heart is the, the people that work in the grocery stores are very, very understaffed and they are very, very stressed. So if you are going to go out and you aren't going to hire your own professional shop, like me who has my own business on the dumpling platform, you're going to want to go in there with an open mind and, and something that I do, especially when I'm not feeling great, even though I have to go into the store, it's not an option for me, is I make a promise to myself to do one good thing for a grocery worker or a customer in the store, which then brings my behavior back into how I'm supposed to be mm. in the store. And if that doesn't work either, I put in the earbuds with some of my favorite songs. That brings <laughs> me right back to reality where, you know, smiles and treating everyone with respect that they deserve because yeah. they're working hard and you know they're always hiring so if you have a problem with your local grocery store work there and fix it you know what go get a job go yeah. get a second job Matthew that was the tip of the year thank you so much for highlighting the fact exactly. that we have to treat people right yeah. and a lot of people are under stress right now including those at the grocery stores thank you for telling us about the deals and the dumpling app thank you so much for watching make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage